Hello there. These are two-year-old, what looks like Kool-Aid orange and red Kool-Aid stains. Um, I have worked on them, worked on them, worked on them. Zoom right in, right on it. And I have used all kinds of stuff and my steam cleaner repeatedly. There's still some orange left here and there's a bunch of pink and red here. And a lot of times it goes in the padding too. And it's still pretty visible on the beige carpet. Um, the, the best way to do it is with peroxide. You pour it right in there, put a towel on there, use an iron on it. You don't want to use an iron that, that you want to keep. You want to get like a, a $5 dollar store iron or a used iron from a second hand store because you're going to toss it or keep it just for stains because it'll eat the finish right off the iron. If you use the ammonia, it is really potent stuff without even a heat added to it, so watch your lungs. Um, some people like to pour ammonia in there, put a towel on it, lay that iron on there. You've got to really be careful of burning the fibers if it's wool or synthetic. I worked in a carpet mill, so most of them are, are wool. So, uh, you got to be really careful. I just use some uh, OxyClean. Any of these cheapo OxyCleaners, they're a dollar for container. I pour a bunch in, add a little bit of hot water at a time till I get kind of a pasty thing. You don't want it too wet, but you don't want it too dry. Because you want to be able to work it in. And so I'm going to take and pour this on here. And try to get the area around it too. I'm going to work this in. You want to mix that stuff up real good because it dissolves in the warm water better. It might still be a little granulate, but use a toothbrush, an old junky toothbrush, or buy one at the dollar store. And work it in. Because a lot of times it's below the carpet, too. And these are two-year-old stains. So, I poured a gallon of water in each one yesterday and steam cleaned it out to get some of the stuff out from underneath the carpet. And just work it in real good and go outside of the actual area. Pour it directly on there. I wouldn't leave it on more than three minutes at a time. And you'll need a steam cleaner or a wet dry vac. A wet dry vac will be just fine. Don't use your household vacuum. Electric and water don't do well. And work that in real good. This stuff works real fast. You can't use household bleach because it's too strong. It'll end up bleaching it up, kind of white, and then turns it yellow. And when you work on color fabrics, it can do weird things, like especially to black fabric, it'll turn it bright yellow. If you use a black carpet. Let's just work that all in. There's a big pink spot there. I mean, this one looks like somebody got shot here. It's so bad. Because I've got most of it out. And you work that in, let it set for about three minutes. Because you can always do it again. You just don't want to get it too light the first time. Because it can get really light. This, this, it claims it doesn't have bleach in it, but it has something in there that gets it in. And just work it into the fibers. This fabric from carpet is twisted. And so, it's a tight twist. So that dye can be just embedded in there. And just work it in real good. Do not leave it in longer than three minutes because you can always go back and do it again. So I used all of that. And that's about half a container of this big one for a dollar, the Dollar Tree. Okay, now let me show you while this is working. Mm 
this uh, is wet. And what you want to do is you want to pour a cup of water, warm water, on each of the spots. And then you want to run your steam cleaner over it or your uh, steam cleaner. And really go over it well. Try to get as much up as you can. That way you don't leave any residual behind. And, uh, and then let it dry. Now it's always going to be a shade darker while it dries. Once it dries, then vacuum it with a regular house vacuum and see how it looks. And if you didn't get enough out that you wanted to get out, do it again just like I showed you. But don't go any longer than three minutes because you'll end up turning it a funny color of your carpet and you'll ruin it. And then you have to cut patches in and redo a whole room and it's just not worth all that. Um, but uh, uh, I have asthma and stuff so I can't do ammonia and steam irons and all that because the fumes would just blow my lungs out or ruin them. So that's what I do. And I hope it works for you. Um, I mean, it's good if you've got, you know, car grease in your carpet or just dirt. Um, it works real well. But once this dries, it'll be a lot lighter than what it is. I've got almost all of it out. So I hope that works for you. And you have a great one. Here's my steam cleaner machine that I own and use. Um, I have four of them. They cost $500 each. I use them on my cars. And when I was in the car business, used them on the retail cars. It's a great item. You can do upholstery and carpets. And if you have children, it's an absolute must. The stand-up ones are junk. But those tanky ones are the greatest thing to own if you have kids. Um, my kids grew up with white furniture and white carpet and um, crystal goblets. Uh, never had a problem. Uh, I'm, I am not a big fan of Kool-Aid at all. Um, I would I don't like to give children Kool-Aid because uh, it stains permanently. I mean, you can use it to tie-dye clothes with it. But that's what I use, so I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoy that, and I hope it helps you. Um, of course, you use it at your own risk, but um, uh, I, I, I hope you get your stains out. Love to you. You have a really great one.